Hi everyone, it's Miss M. Today we are going to be talking about circumference and area of a circle. First, let's look at the properties of a circle. You should be filling this out on your organizer as we go along in the video. First, we want to sketch a chord. A chord is a line that hits two ends of the circle. It doesn't have to cut the circle in half, but it touches two ends. A diameter cuts the circle completely in half, so it runs along straight, hits two ends, and cuts the circle in half. Whereas the radius, we go from the center of the circle to the end. So the radius is half of the diameter, which will be important for later. And then we have, what is this symbol? This symbol is pi. And pi can be represented by 3.14. It can also be represented as 22 over 7. There are two important formulas we need. First is area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. And then circumference, we can use two different formulas. We can have 2 times pi times the radius, or we can just have pi times the diameter. So what you are given depends on which formula you will use. Let's look at the first two examples on the organizer. We want to find the area and the circumference, so let's start with area. To find the area of this circle, we're going to use 3.14 times 4 squared, because 4 is the radius. You can use a calculator for this, and we get that the area is 50.24 centimeters squared. And to find the circumference, I'm going to use the formula 2 times pi times the radius because we're given the radius. So 2 times 3.14 times the radius, which is 4. Put that into your calculator, and that will give you 25.12 centimeters. And example two, we'll start with area. Now we need radius, so to find radius, we're going to divide 10 by 2 because here we're given the diameter. So we're going to have 3.14 times 5 squared, because 5 is our radius. Put that into your calculator, and you will get 78.5 inches squared. And for circumference, since we're given diameter, we're going to use the formula pi times diameter. So we're going to have 3.14 times 10. And the circumference of this circle is 31.4 inches. I would like you to complete the rest of the graphic organizer on your own. Now, these examples should go in your notes, not on the organizer, or you can write it on the back. But we want to find the distance. So circumference is distance around the circle, but we're not always going to be given a full circle. In this first example, we have a semicircle or half a circle. So to do this, we're going to use circumference formula, but we have to pay attention to how much of the circle we're given. And we're given half the circle. So I'm going to start with 1 half times pi times 7.7 .7 because that's the diameter. So we have pi times diameter for circumference times 1 half because we only have half the circle. But if we're looking for distance, it's not just this piece, which if we multiply here, that's what we'll be given. We also have this piece, so we have to add on that 7.7 .7 centimeters to find the full distance around the semicircle. So first, let's multiply 1 half times pi times 7.7 .7 
which gives us 12.089. And we still have to add that 7.7. .7, and we get that the distance around this semicircle is 19.789 centimeters. Now let's take a look at this quarter of a circle. If we have one fourth of a circle, we're going to do this very similar, except we're going to use one fourth. And we're going to use the two times pi times the radius since we're given the radius. So one fourth times two times pi times the radius, but that only gives us this piece. So we also have to add on this and this. So plus 2 times 2.1 because both of those sides are 2.1 meters. So first let's multiply 1 fourth times 2 times pi times 2.1. We get 3.297 plus 2 times 2.1 is 4.2 add them together, we get 7.497 meters. Okay, so the distance around this quarter of the circle is 7.497 meters. And last, let's take a look at finding area. So again, we're going to use the formula for area, but we have to pay attention. Again, we don't have the full circle. Here we have half of the circle. So we're going to have one half, times pi, and we need the radius, so 28 divided by 2 is 14 squared. Put that in your calculator, we get 307.72 feet squared. So that is the area of this semicircle. And then here we're given just that quarter of a circle. So similarly, I'm going to use the same formula, except I'm going to multiply by 1 fourth times pi times the radius, which is 19 squared. Put that in your calculator, we get 283.385 meters squared. And that concludes our video for today.